Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator, where last time we built this thing, our Tesla Roadster. It is a super, super cool car, unlike anything I have ever built in this game. Speaking of unlike anything I've ever built in this game, today I've taken a small loan of $1 million. Here's the problem with my loan. It's just that, it's a loan, which means I need to pay it back. We're gonna head back to the car auctions and hopefully find our vehicle today. Before we start searching for today's car, though, we do need to thank the sponsor of today's video, Apex Gaming PCs. They have a full range of custom gaming PCs that you can choose from. That's what I'm using to play Car Mechanic Simulator today. Today and tomorrow only, you can use code Labor Day and get 8% off your Apex Gaming PC order. Click the link in my description, enjoy the video. A McLaren F1 at the salvage auction, the stuff. I don't know what happened to this thing, but it's not looking good. I'm a little bit scared about how much this vehicle is gonna sell for, but let's start up the auction. I've got to bid 50k, 700,000, 800, 900, a million. Jeff, much better. Back to the junkyard we go. It's basically the exact same. <laughs> That's so sick. Let's go, McLaren F1. Begin the auction. It starts at 428,000 bucks. Keep in mind, like I said, I'm gonna have to pay back a lot of this money. So I'm, uh, I'm definitely, um, guys, guys, chill. Please, please chill. 1.1 million for a McLaren F1. We are looking good. So I'm wondering, right? Do we think I got a discount? Oh, all right. I've already lost about 100,000 credits. That's not very good. Anyways, as per usual with our junkyard finds, let's start things off by taking it to the car wash and clean up, I mean, what's left of our McLaren F1. Is it black under there? I think it is. No, it's actually orange. That's so sick. And then you can see like the carbon fiber, like monocoque chassis thing. That's so cool. Now have I made some money after I've given it a media... Turns out that was the best car wash I've ever done. Let's also bring over our welder. Use that for 500 bucks. That's gonna get all of the rust off of our frame. Yo, it really is bright orange. That is so cool. Okay, how much is this thing worth now? So uh, thank you so much for watching. I've already made my money back and some. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very excited to see if this might be my new fastest car. We need to get everything off of this McLaren F1 if I wanna actually do some top speed tests with it. So let's go all of this suspension gotta go. The really nice thing though is that in the last episode we finally invested in that repair bench so I won't actually need to purchase all new parts for the McLaren F1. I'm gonna be able to repair the vast majority of these which is gonna make rebuilding this thing super super easy. No joke to take the suspension off a of McLaren F1. It's literally like three parts. While we're working under here actually let's pull out both of the fuel tanks for our McLaren F1. McLaren F1. Okay what's left of the McLaren F1? Come on down and now we've got to pull this engine. Now we can use the engine crane. Pull the engine out. Thank you very much. And I think think that's pretty much our McLaren strip. Even in this state is 3.2 million bucks. So I think what we've learned today is if you have a McLaren F1, uh, wash it. Now with the disassembly completed, we can come to our repair table and rebuild all of these parts. This is not only gonna save us a lot of money, but it's also gonna save us from buying all new parts essentially keeping the McLaren F1 as original as possible, providing I don't blow any of these parts up. Like that. Wait, 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 wait. We've also got our brake discs and our brake pads. If I head over to the toolbox, considering I've got this loan now, I might as well do this. There is this upgrade for the garage that we can do. It's part of the garage expansion. 
It costs 1,700 credits, and it allows you to restore damage break it. So let's buy this. I have no idea what this machine is, what it looks like, or how it works. Okay, it's all the way over here. Let's give this a go. So all of my break discs, how does this work? Does it just like sand it down so it's like, I don't know, new-ish? In the long run, it's actually going to save us quite a bit of money, so... McLaren F1, up into the air you go. Begin the reassembly of the McLaren F1. So keep in mind, before we started adding any parts onto the vehicle, it was already worth, what, like 3.2 mil or something like that? Let's get the new brake disc installed onto the vehicle. That looks awesome. It literally looks brand new. I think, no way! I've even got brand new brake pads. Okay, and as we've done in the past, I'm also going to custom paint some brake calipers for this vehicle. So we'll come back to those. The Tesla Roadster that I built, as cool as a car as that was, I, I will admit it didn't actually drive very well. Now I'm hoping I can redeem myself with this McLaren F1. I really, really hope it drives well. And I'm hoping the suspension makes it significantly better. It literally took me two minutes and the front suspension is already back in. Let's go. See, this is the super nice thing that we get now. Now that we've been repairing all of our own parts, we can rebuild these vehicles so quickly. I think the rear suspension's done as well. All right, let's run to the paint booth. Twitch chat, what color should our brakes be? A lot of Twitch chat actually want me to paint the rims orange. I like that idea. Everybody in Twitch chat is just spamming that my brake calipers are actually brown. I don't like this bullying. Now that we've got all of our suspension in, I, I guess we've got to work on the engine. So what engine do you actually toss in here? Engine is a V12 DOHC MRN. Okay, I've never heard of that before. My McLaren V12 engine. Jeez, look at the two different V12. This is gonna be my first custom built V12 engine. And the same thing that I did last time, we are gonna crank this thing to the maximum. I'm even gonna go as far as coming outside and into the salvage container where we're gonna upgrade those parts even further. Let's go. This is about to be a ridiculous amount of horsepower because we're V12. We have so many parts to actually upgrade. Hey, remember what I was saying literally two minutes ago about how, wanting, how I wanted to make a car that was actually drivable? Yeah, I don't think I've done that. Even the ignition coils are getting the upgrades in. Let's go. Why don't I actually paint these engine head covers the same orange as my brake calipers so it could be like a proper secondary color. It definitely looks a little bit on the brown side. It's not the nicest looking orange I've ever seen. Fuel rail installed as well. That's 2% extra horsepower. Damn it, I need two throttles for this vehicle. I think this is the last part of our V12 that we need. What? Now that we've got all of those parts installed, that engine is looking so sick. Our V12 is completed. We have every single part on it. Thank you very much. Into the McLaren you go. I also need a gearbox on here, okay. You know what? Since this thing is gonna have so much extra horsepower, Let's go for a custom gearbox. 1.3% extra horsepower from our gearbox. Like, see what I mean? There's only three, sorry, four bolts to hold in our gearbox for a V12. Now we've got all of our suspension. We've got our gearbox, our engine installed. Okay, let's also get all of the little stuff in here, like the fuel tank, for example. Let's also get the window washer reservoir. Let's get the brake servo. All of these things we're gonna need in the end, so we might as well get it now radiators installed in the front as well. Now, I, I think we've just got to get some wheels on here. So what size? It's 275 35 R18 and 345 35 R18. Okay, let's keep the 18 inch rims, but go a little bit wider. So instead of 275, let's go 295. And then for the rear, instead of 345, let's go 375. Those are going to be some thick boys. Those actually look pretty legit for now. Ooh, and look at that fitment. That fitment might be perfect, actually. Okay, now we can bring this vehicle down to the ground, finally. 
That looks really cool. And now we've got to get our body mods on. So this is a GTR long tail McLaren F1. And that's important because if I come over, there's all of these parts that only work on the long tail. If I go for this long tail version, geez, you can actually see all of that carbon fiber. That's so sick. But if I don't go with that one, if I go for, say, a regular McLaren F1, ah, it doesn't really fit. Okay, so I need the long tail part. We have four different clamshells for us, though. Three of them are for the GTR. Which one do I want? This is the most expensive one. Let's go with that one. That's worked for me in GTA before. It'll work for me in this game. All right, I can actually go for any hood I want on my McLaren F1. Let's go for this one. This one looks like the most, I don't know, Kind of normal, but kind of race car. This one looks way too modified, so this one it is. That goes in. That looks awesome. Get the headlights installed. Those are so... Wait. Those don't match. Yo, I actually nailed my rear fitment. That looks awesome. We've also got a whole bunch of different roof scoops. Let's go for the GTR long tail. I've now got a window. And let's go for a roof scoop. What a cool looking car. And I'm not even done. So I need a rear clamshell for the vehicle and my rear fender and a trunk. Okay. These are the rear wings that I need. These are for the long tail. I'm going to go for, uh, let's go for this rear wing. I like that one. And then I need some tail lights. Okay. Here we go. Here's some nice looking tail lights. Here we go. Get the rear wing installed. Jeez, that's so cool. Get that fender in. Thank you. I still need this left door. My bad. And then last but not least, I need a trunk. Okay, I think that's my last part. Trunk installed. Get those trunk windows installed. Those are actually carbon fiber. There we go. That is one of the nicest looking cars I have ever seen in this game. Sure, it cost me like 300 grand to actually get these body panels installed, but that is so crazy. Off to the paint shop we go. I think we already know. I think this has to be bright orange as well. All of Twitch chat is actually voting for metallic, so let's go with that. $1,000 paint job done. Actually, hold on one second. I could always come in here and, you know, make it black. Twitch chat's actually split on if I keep this black or make it orange. I don't know. I think I'll keep it black. I kind of like that. Let's just get some fluid into the McLaren F1 and then we'll get it on the dyno, see how much horsepower it has and give it a drive. Are you sure you want to proceed with the dyno test? Let's go. Let's see what the McLaren can do. It doesn't actually sound that bad this time. Okay. That revs really high as well. Okay, I think we've just blown up 1,100 horsepower. GG McLaren. All right, let's just get a quick steering wheel in here and give it a drive. Uh... All right, so my guy's gonna have a bit of a headache in there, but, you know, don't pay attention to that. Let's just... It's definitely not the best sounding car in this game. Or, or or has the best gear ratios. One second. I always forget that this game gives you garbage gear ratios for some reason when it's bone stock. But let's go something like this for now and even extend them out a little bit. There we go. That's better. But that is insanely quick. 300 kilometers an hour. 400 kilometers an hour. F 500 kilometers an hour. 600 kilometers... Huh. Already, I've set a new speed record for the for the track. That's crazy. Attempt number three, McLaren F1. 200, 250, 300, 350. I feel like a goddamn auctioneer with this car. That's 500 kilometers. Not dead, 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 dead. I tried to steer. Bad idea. Really bad idea. Landed. What an insane vehicle. Like, I knew it was going to be fast when I saw it had 1,100 horsepower. But this is insane. Okay, I can't, I cannot control it. <laughs> That's 669. Here we go. This is it. That's as straight as this thing's going to get. Come on. 400 kilometers an hour. We're zooming. 500. 550. 600. That's a new record. Seven up. 800 
kilometers an hour nearly. Here we go. This is going to be it. This is going to be 800 kilometers an hour. Twitch chat says I've already done 500 miles an hour. That is insane. Anyways, I want to see if this thing can actually drive on the racetrack. Let's see. Rev it up, buddy. Come on. And away we go, McLaren F1. Burnout off the line. Into the corner. Okay. Do not throttle and turn at the same time is what I've realized. If you do, that'll happen. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We'll make it up. 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 Go, McLaren. Go, McLaren. That is insane. That is so insane. It actually kind of drives, though. That's the crazy part. Usually for a car like this, you'd look at the racetrack and your car would explode. This takes corners. We just did a lap in 1 minute 35 seconds. That's insane. After all of that, we spent two hours working on our McLaren the question is gonna be, what is it worth? After all of the upgrades, all of the customization, 19 million bucks? Are you kidding me? A $20 million vehicle we just repaired. That is insane.